Yes! Yeah, Boom! <laughs> Kicking it with a badass. <laughs> hey babe, I've been getting really good at good morning. Do you want to give it a go? Good morning. Good morning. It is indeed quite early. Friday fitness was, well, pretty average. But it was a beautiful day in Stockholm and we were off to go hang out with world-renowned photographer Oscar Becke. What's Yo. up, buddy? All good, all good. Nice yeah. to be in sunny Stockholm. Looks pretty sh**. Should I direct this shot? <laughs> Come on. I thought I talked to you this. Oh! So, first of all, slightly low. It's a super shitty <laughs> tripod. This is your socks, my socks, or this couch that's smelling. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Just like you or the camera. Or I think it's either me or the camera. Maybe I should all go over there at one point. You really thought this through. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the studio. This is my new studio. Thank you, thank you. It is my pleasure. So today we're going to talk with Oscar Becke, this amazing photographer who was also at one point the director of this vlog. What happened? Wow, well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, this isn't about like the vlog. This is about you. I did a little story earlier. They asked people to ask me questions to ask. Oh, people. really? Yeah. Oh, that's funny. But I didn't tag you because I didn't want you to see it because I didn't oh, want you to like get nervous or something. Oh, okay, okay. First question is, tell me like how you got into photography. I've always been into images. I was like, I love to look at good images. And then, uh, you know, it was 10 years ago when the DSLRs became cheaper, I bought one and just started shooting everything. And at first, I wanted to become a ski photographer. And it was actually kind of because you and Olsen's super sessions. This was way back. <laughs> And I wish so I, I kind of had a dream of becoming a professional skier, but I realized like I didn't have a skill for it. <laughs> but like oh, with a camera, I could get in the scene and like keep on skiing and hang out with these cool people and uh, all of that. But uh, so I started with skiing, and it uh, sucked. <laughs> Stop with that. Started shooting cars, and the cars worked out better than the skiing eventually. <laughs> Yeah, your car photography is amazing. A bunch of people wanted to ask, what's your favorite car to shoot? I don't, I, honestly, I care more about the location than the car right now, mm -hmm. even though it's always fun to shoot a nice object. I, I love to work for Koenigsegg. I might do a shoot with them next week. And I think it's such like it's kind of a pride to be Swedish and have these cars homemade in your own, own country. And the craftsmanship behind them is just so incredible. Can we show a couple of your pictures, images yeah. from your Koenigsegg shoot? Uh, will you describe your three favorite pictures that you've taken to me? I don't know if I have any favorites. Whenever you work on a project and you have one picture, and uh, as soon as you kind of deliver it, sometimes I kind of forget about it. It feels so weird to say, but I just move on to the next project. I would say some of them is like the most spontaneous stuff that I've, that I've done. Like it's just been this moment that you have to catch instead of the, when it's all like really staged and set up. There's a picture of a man I shot in Mongolia with a compact camera. And I just love how genuine and cool it feel, feels. It's a lot of good stories behind some shots and that makes them interesting. Uh, so actually this is really, really compelling. 
uh, and I think everyone needs to hear this. We were walking around maybe two or three years ago, and you felt you feel like sometimes on shoots that you don't feel like a real photographer. Now tell me more about that. When you feel like a fraud. I don't know, I'm a fraud, but I think like, I'm very self critic to myself. Like I really care about the look and I always want to, to become better. And sometimes like like well, why do people hire me? There's so many other better photographers out there. You keep on comparing yourself to other photographers. But but that's that's also my motivation to become better and keep on pushing my style, my look and the final result. It's like a little bit mind blowing to me because I think you're like one of the best photographers in the fucking world. <laughs> Thank you. And then you like wonder why people are hiring you for a shoot. I, I just think everyone goes through this. Like I look at my videos and I think they're garbage. <laughs> I think, think that's, that's a good part with like the, the self-development. Everything creative you work with is kind of loose. Like and there's no, no right or wrong, it's more maybe trends. I don't know, it's interesting to think that like sometimes you feel that way. And I think all of us feel that way in whatever we do. So I think it's like interesting to see someone that is fucking amazing and you inside are still struggling with this a little bit sometimes. Yeah, it's, uh, it's difficult. And, and I think it's, for me, what it's really important with um, what I'm doing is to always find a good balance in between like, the, the personal products, the stuff that actually will make you money uh, and and just like a good mix of everything that will keep on um, with your development. Because I think like you, you cannot always, always, always shoot whatever you love. Or I think more and more it gets to be like it is like that for me. And if it's, I'm, I'm so, so thankful that I start to say, say no to some shoots because I, I don't need it. So I feel like every shoot is just okay. This shoot will either pay me money or like a uh, good amount of money or it will be for my portfolio or it will make me know people that might take me to other projects. And, and if, if it's nothing, I won't take do the shoots. Okay, if it's not one of those three yeah. main pillars. And, but, but now now I try to like, now I want it to be two pillars. Okay. And I, I try to push it more in that way. Okay, so not just one, two of these pillars. Yeah. Uh, but, but then, yeah, it's depending on where you are in your career and how much requests you have as a photographer. And We're going to put a little Venn diagram in to show you the three circles. And what happens when it's in the middle? Nothing? No, no, like everything. Oh, yeah, okay, okay. Oh, that's a massive success. <laughs> <laughs> Life goals. Awesome. Uh, so this next part, I'm going to get behind the camera okay. and then go through really quick questions that are from people on Instagram today. Oh, nice. Oh. And some of them are hilarious, way better than anything I can come up with. Okay, what camera to buy in 2018-19? Whatever you have on you, you should never miss a shot. The iPhone is the best camera because you can always just pull it up. But if it's about quality, Sony A7R 3 That's what I use and I love it. What's the most badass thing you've ever done? I don't see myself as a badass. <laughs> <laughs> what's your favorite lens? 2470 GM. And within that, what's the most used focal length? 24 and 35. Start shooting more and more wide. So. Do you drive cars you shoot? Rarely. How can I meet you? Yeah, whenever I have an, another seminar or workshop. Don't know when's the next one though, but it was really fun. I'm excited to do more of them. How do you make a perfect flare shot? I like do the Paul Ripke when you- You're in the shadow on the corner to the sun, then you get nice lens flares. Ripke photography to success. Coming back to very hungover. Total boss. Favorite country for traveling? Recently I went to Seattle in the Philippines. Best place ever, like more relaxed, but still like kind of Bali vibe. Do you have a phase one? I don't. Do you have a girlfriend? I do. Do you own a shirt or should I send you one? <laughs> yeah, the picture I put up is of you like without a shirt on. <laughs> How'd you meet you? Through my car photography. What's your workflow for your picture? More and more, I shoot theater to capture one on the set. So the images come straight into the computer. I can see it large to like small adjustments. Pick out the favorites, raw editing, open in Photoshop. It could be everything from two minutes to five hours. Well, thanks, man. I got the Masai Mas. Ah, should we get some food? Yeah. Or is it not time for that? There's time. Thanks for letting us use your dad's place. Magnus, what a boss. Oh, God, I've been to this place. This place yeah. is really good. 
We all been there. Yeah. So Oscar's just locking up his bike, but one of the interesting things that I kind of realized the other day was when you're doing one of these, maybe some of the best parts are when you're actually talking to your friend rather than a time lapse of you eating or something. That's why we're kind of trying to put more substance into this. Good comment. Nobody could break us here. I thought we had it all. Take me back to when it was you and me. You, baby, it was you and me. Thanks for lunch. My pleasure, dude. Yes! Boom! Always a pleasure to see Oscar. Guess we're gonna roll out here and go home. Ah, back on the cannon. But first, we have to check on one thing. We're not gonna actually do the upgrade. A lot of you guys said we should, but... Babe. There's no ending. Do you want to kick this thing and say thanks? Thanks for watching me changing. <laughs> Don't forget to subscribe. Oh my gosh, shut up.